True with Guns America, and today we are filming for a special episode of our specialty publication, Decoding Darkness. It's all about lights, lasers, thermals, night vision. And in my hand is the brand new SIG Echo MV50 DV, which stands for Dual View Handheld Thermal uh, Monocular. All right, the very first thing I want to tell you about this handheld thermal from SIG is that it it's actually surprisingly good. Like, very surprised at how good this thing is. But before we get into that or the features or the specs or start talking about what I was able to see with this, I want to just tell you that SIG has brought the trump card to the table when it comes to thermals and electronics in general. So most thermals have a very limited life span, meaning they're electronic, they're, everything in them is electronic, eventually they're gonna fail and they're very expensive. So when you buy a thermal from any company, you wanna look at the warranty that it comes with. I mean, that's the first thing you should be looking at is how long do I have before this, if this turns into a brick, uh, will they not help me warranty it? In fact, many of the companies don't have the parts, don't have the ability to even fix stuff because the technology changes really fast. So SIG has this warranty where it doesn't matter if you don't have a receipt, you don't have to be the original owner. Um, it's basically a guarantee that lasts for life. So they're gonna repair it, replace it. If they don't make the model or can't fix it, you're gonna get it the newer version uh, is my assumption there. But best warranty in the industry, bar none. So say whatever you want to about SIG right now, have at, but they have the best warranty when it comes to electronics. So here's the deal with this. This is a special thermal in that it has two different objectives in it. So dual view means right here we have a ring and you can think of it as a magnification ring. You can think of this as the closest thing there is to optical zoom in a thermal, but you can actually change the objective diameter here. So you can go from, I believe it's like, 8.7 up to 17.1 degrees. So very wide angle on 25, and you spin this knob and you go to 50 millimeter objective where you're using the full germanium lens, and it's a much tighter field of view, but you're zoomed in much closer. In fact, if we look at it as power, the 25 millimeter objective is going to be one and a half power, and the 50 is going to be three. Now, in my opinion, this is the ultimate sweet spot. So the reason that this is the sweet spot Spot is because if you've ever driven around in a vehicle at night, in the middle of the night, as the passenger, of course, or on a private road on private property, this would be legal as well. It would not be legal on public road if you're the driver, but having the window down, this pasted your eye, looking out the window while you drive. Now, more magnification means that you're gonna get sick faster, it's gonna mess with your eyes worse, you're gonna see much less area, and it magnifies the bumps and the movement and the shake. You just see less. So, it is a huge advantage to have lower power when you're driving at 30, 40, 50 miles an hour, looking out the window, one and a half magnification is the premium suite spot so you're going to observe spot check things out see your surroundings navigate much easier on one and a half power now you see something you need to look out further um, you want to see what it is you see a hot spot you simply swap this over to 50 and now you're using that full germanium lens now let me tell you about the next best feature on this handheld and that is that you don't have to have two hands to fully manipulate this thing so the focus wheel is this wheel right here and you can literally put your finger on here and you can roll it just like that and that's all it takes to focus this so it can be done one-handed there is in addition to the optical zoom or the objective zoom as we'll call it the dual view there's also a digital zoom and you can manipulate that with this finger so simply rolling this with this finger zooms the digital zoom now there's also a power button here there's a menu there's a camera button Quick press takes a picture, long press makes this um, record video. There's a menu here in this zoom button. You push it down quick and it gives you the short menu. You hold it down longer and it gives you the long menu. So pretty easy, but as you can see, you can run all of this with your fingers without having to put your hand on, the, on here. This also does have the ability to uh, fine focus the image inside, like for the, the um, 
the menu and the icons get those sharp to the individual user's eye that's going to be different for everybody so this is your focus though for distance this is your focus for your eye that you do when you first set this up a couple other things this has an internal battery that you charge via USB-C and then it also has an external battery that you can pop in and out uh, right here you slide this over and it has an internal rechargeable battery now this is like a weird battery this is not the battery that sig normally has with their electronics this is a 18 500 and it does not have the usb-c on it so i'm not sure what happened there but um sig i don't like this as much as i do the usb-c version so and i wish this was an 18 650 because those are cheap and you can buy those everywhere but it does come with two of these so um have that be what you want but that's the inside there is a rubber gasket this is ip67 waterproof rated um that's how that snaps in there there's your usb-c port there is a quarter 20 port there for putting it on a tripod um there's this door that closes up and locks and protects your front lens um that's pretty much everything that's going on on the outside um yeah, so let's talk about the performance and all that. So on the inside, once we get going here, uh, I'm actually very impressed. It's a 640 sensor, uh, which is has been considered the standard. It is a um, net 20 millikelvin, which is the sensitivity of the sensor. So that's the how much detail you're going to see in the difference between at distance uh, and net 20 is fantastic that's really good it's 50 hertz that's how fast it refreshes so as you pan it's not going to stutter and, and be a problem or if things move you're not going to see it lag uh, so that's that's a good feature um, it is uh, 12 micron which is considered the standard now in high-end stuff so um, 12 micron 640 net 20 millikelvin those are the basic features 50 objective and 25 for the wider field of view um, those are the basic specs sig says on their website that it gets 10 hours of battery life i call bs on that i don't think it's going to get 10 unless maybe that includes swapping out both batteries even then i'm not sure you're going to get there but look this can be charged with your car charger an external battery pack um, i don't know exactly how many it's going to get but i got four or five the other night with um the internal battery and this external battery just one of them so i'm guessing it's you're going to be closer to six but i don't know for sure it depends on how much you leave it on i didn't ever turn it off i just left it on the whole time and now normally i wouldn't do that i would turn it on and off as i used it but it just stayed on so the one thing that i do not like about this if i could come up with anything that i can just straight up tell you i, I don't like they need to fix and maybe they can't fix it i hope i don't uh is that it takes a long time to start up so we're going to shut this down it's been on this whole time um, and even when i swapped the battery it stayed on so it's you can hot swap it without even it shutting off but we're going to shut it down so to do that you hold down the power button and it says data saving and it shuts off all right so to start this up you have to hold the button for like three seconds before it even starts and then you take your finger off the button and then the sig menu pop or the sig logo pops up and then you see a blue line come across so we're going to start counting right when i push the button so that first three seconds really shouldn't count but hey it does count because that's from the time i decide i want it on until it's ready to go i think those three seconds are part of it so here we go one two three four five six the sig menu is there my fingers off the button and the blue line is saying starting i think we're at eight nine ten and there we go i have an image so i think that's around 10 11 seconds maybe you guys did a better job counting than i did but before i'm able to use this so that is not horrible look i used some older thermals that were like closer to 30 seconds and i literally could watch falling stars before it turned on but so it's not that big a deal but it just feels slow and maybe it's partly because of the blue line that comes across i don't know but um, it drives me a little bit nuts all right let's talk about the menu here real quickly um, so like i told you before if i i'm going to start this recording so you guys can see what i see and let's make this go in focus so we're looking at a tractor across the field here and that looks pretty good we're going to crank this back down to 25 so you can see the difference so up in the top of the screen we have 25 you can see that it's on white hot it's recording it's on three power right now and it shouldn't be it should be on one and a half so let's turn we've got the digital zoom on is what the problem is okay there we go now we're on 
one and a half and we're not in focus. Okay, so here we go. Now we're in focus. We're on one and a half power. And I just want to scan across here and show you the field of view. So hopefully you can kind of get a feel for what the field of view is on one and a half power. I'm going to reach up and rotate the objective over to the 50. And as you can see, we're actually still in focus. So I'm not going to mess with the focus wheel, but now we're on 50 and you can see how much more zoomed in we are. And as I pan across here, there's a lot more shake and um, you see a lot less of the field. So uh, not better for just checking stuff out, in my opinion. We're going to go back to the 25. Okay, so now that we're on 25, let's hit the quick menu just once. So I'm going to push the zoom wheel, just a quick push. And as you can see, this is the quick menu. It tells us that the display brightness is currently at 2, and it disappeared on me. Image tone is warm, so we can turn that to, to a colder if we want. You can see the difference there. I don't like that. I like it on warm, personally. Uh, they're palettes. we got white hot. And I'm going to switch through these. Black hot. Sepia, Red Hot, Rainbow, Arctic, Iron, Red Alert, and White Hot. And I'm just going to be honest, I mostly use White Hot on everything. Image Contrast is set at 2, Image Sharpness is set at 5, and I can exit, and that's the Quick Menu. If I want to do the Longer Menu, I hold the button down longer. gives me the Main Menu. So I can do a Picture-in-Picture, picture, which gives me the little box at the top, zoomed in. I'm going to turn that back off. Nuke mode is set to automatic. MoTac is the motion activated, and that gives me some options for time. But I'm going to just leave that off. Pixel repair, um, about, reset, and exit. So that's the main menu right there. So there you go. That's how it works. It's pretty simple to use. You literally push this button down, either short press it or long press it, and then scroll and press it again. So you can just run the whole menu with your hand. Now, let's talk about price point really quickly here. Well, this thing's still recording. I need to stop that. So to stop it, I'm gonna hold down the camera button and that stopped the recording. Um, so price point is $39.99.99. So essentially $4,000 full MSRP for the SIG Echo MV50 DV or dual view. So look, here's the deal. No range finder, it's just a handheld, uh, but it's a good handheld, it's got great specs, it's got really good features, in fact, kind of uh, unique features. I really like the menu, I like these little wheels, they're easy to run. It's got a good shape, you're gonna be able to find something that, that's easy to carry this on a strap. It does have a strap, uh, little, I don't know what that's called, but thing to run a strap through, right there. Um, it's a good color, I really like these sort of flat dark earth colors that SIG has put on these. Uh, it appears the aluminum on it's anodized. Uh, I like it. So I really like the warranty. That's my favorite part. Good job on the warranty SIG. Um, okay, that's what we got though. Make sure you uh, like, subscribe, and share. We appreciate you watching this. Let us know in the comments whether or not uh, this is on your uh, wish list.